I better start with Andy because if we don't start with Andy, somebody's going to steal his pick. <laughs> No, no, exactly no, what I, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, it is, of course, Prisma, that really cool, cool uh, photo filter app. Uh, and I, in my, in the show notes, I said that I'm sure that there are three people who have picked this. If you do, if you have, if you, this is the only one you have picked. I have, I have an alternate. No, uh, Andy, I, you're I, the I first. Called. Nobody picked it yesterday in iOS oh, today. You are the oh, first. Congratulations. Okay. We saved it so, for you. So if your eyeballs roll at the oh good another another photo filter app oh look now I can make my, my I can make it look like a different kind of old Polaroid from 1963 no this is a really amazing app that when I say that it takes photos and turns it into art I don't mean that they add a blur filter and then increase the contrast so that it kind of looks like oil painting I mean that it use it's actually using AI uh, it's actually using deep dream type technology to basically reinterpret it intelligently into different uh, sort of formats and the results can be almost shockingly good uh, I, I, I just uh, put up a Google Photos album uh, that will uh, I, I, I quickly gave you an Instagram but I, I, I put together a Google Photos album uh, and it's a uh, here's a pic go to the picture if when you get it uh, of the uh, of the flower I took in the uh, in, in a hot house, uh, where it's a nicely done picture of a white oh, flower. Look at this. And so here's the original, which is right. a beautiful picture with lots of texture and just gorgeous. And then and then Pixma without doing anything but simply oh. clicking on one of these filters. Oh. You would think that this was a really beautifully done watercolor. Georgia O'Keeffe could have. I mean, she's out of business. Yeah. I mean, and wow. then, uh, uh, then uh, I, there are so many of these different filters, and it's not like you can, you have to screw around with a whole bunch of different settings. There are enough of them, and they're different enough that you just, here is a photo that is interesting to me. I'm going Let's to see which of these one. filters does the most interesting thing to it. Uh, and there are stuff where if people did not know that this app existed, if I just, I, I feel as though if I made a really good uh, uh, archival print of it, of let's say no greater than let's say five by seven and put it in a nice forty dollar frame and put it on the wall of a coffee house, I could get money for it as <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be actually cool like original art. It's uh, really gorgeous. Wow. It's just yeah. It, again, sometimes it's just shockingly good. Uh, and the other thing, it's it really made me think a lot about how uh, I used to be and maybe to an extent still am kind of a snob about. Uh, you know Instagram filters and oh is this really photography and okay yeah you're, you're adding a fun effect and it's, it's 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 good to make photography fun but is it really stuff it really has gotten it really has apps like this have gotten have turned my thinking around that it's like in the 35 millimeter days in the 70s and 80s you could buy like kits of uh, different kinds of really wacky literally color filters like grade gradiated like tobacco stain sort of filters and starburst filters and no you're not creating the starburst yourself but you made the choice that i'm going to choose and use this filter uh, it really does usher in a, a new generation of photography where really the phone just or your your camera only does data capture and then apps will then uh, create an image based on that capture well, and i have so much more fun uh with these images it, it really is like it, it's like uh, I've, uh, I've, uh, someone someone told me about the fun what happens every time you buy a chainsaw or a sawzall for the first time where you take it out of the box and the first thing you do with it is you cut up that felled tree limb that you bought it for and then that takes all of five seconds and then you spend the rest of the day spending playing the game <laughs> a game called let's see if it'll cut this uh, and and prisma is the exact same thing it's like I will. I, I, I scroll through and say, "Oh, I bet that flower picture might look look interesting." And then there I am, like fast forward, like three hours later, I'm still like on the couch, like going through photos that are that. Oh, I haven't tried it on that one yet. I haven't tried it on that one yet. Uh, really, really remarkable stuff. Uh, it's just uh, it's just amazing. The, uh, there is there was a small bit of controversy uh, when people found out that oh my goodness, it's actually sending data. There's a stuff in the in the user agreement that says that we're going to be taking your data and doing things with it. Uh, that actually turned into, well, no, we're not doing all this processing on device. We have to send this to a server and then send the results back down again uh, in order to uh, make uh, make things happen. So really? far, it looks like wow. a, but so far uh. it looks like a benign app. Uh, there is like a one of the filters is sponsored by Palm Olive, it, it appears. So maybe that's where they're getting their money. Uh, but good heavens, it's like I, I, you would have to do some really awful things with my personal data for me to think that it's not worth it to get <laughs> to get an app of this quality. By the way, be careful because it is so popular. Uh, it's not available on Android. There are a lot of 
apps claiming to be Prisma. They may yeah. be malware. I don't. I wouldn't be very careful They're about not. what you download. It, it is iOS only right now, although Android's coming. And get it from Prisma Labs Inc. Mm -hmm. Prisma Labs Inc. There's also you a pro tip. When you get it, it puts a watermark on all your images. And at first I thought, oh, I guess I have to pay to get rid of that. No, it's just a setting. <laughs> go, go into the settings and turn off the watermarks. I actually, I actually think that's too bad, though. I was looking forward to, oh, my goodness, if they want anything That's not less it, than, by the way. They, so you just did exactly what I said not to do, Karsten. That's not it. Do not get that one. <laughs> Look at my screen, Karsten. There's a difference. Oh, did, I get, did I give you the wrong? No, oh, that's, that's, this that's is it. <laughs> Prisma <laughs> Labs <laughs> Incorporated. Yeah. It's such a great app. <laughs> to, so again, I don't know. I doubt any of the Apple stuff is malware. Apple's pretty careful about that. But it's not Prisma if it's not from Prisma Labs, Inc. And it's free. That's some fake Prisma. Yeah. That, do, that does happen a lot where people, will, uh, the developer will try to like, game the keyword so that if someone is yeah. searching for X, yeah. they'll find Y yeah. instead. And that does happen on the App Store, too. It's usually not yeah. malware, but it means that you're not getting the app that right. 100 people on the same weekend are saying, oh, my God, this is the greatest thing ever. You're mm -hmm. instead getting a creepy, stupid... The one Carson's showing thing. is the one I downloaded from Android. Anytime and then I, an app is not available in a platform or a geography, <laughs> there's a fake app there trying to take all its attention. Yeah, I got all excited about it. And then I read the reviews and one of the reviews said, this is not the Prisma you think it is. Don't get it. It might be malware. You should look at the reviews. That'll kind of help. <laughs> <laughs> not as good as the original. Yeah. Uh, and I deleted it immediately. I hope it wasn't malware. But who knows? You never know. So be careful, but get it from Prisma Labs. And it supposedly is coming out soon on Android, which will be yeah. nice. But uh, boy, it is. You know, there's also a trick. I don't know how I did it, but somehow I got it. I took a picture and then I got a grid of all the possible app, uh, effects and somehow it did them all. Mm. So in the, my photo stream had like there's 30 effects or something, had 30 different ways a, to see the I, same image. I'm looking forward to the next uh, update to it, not like version two, but I think that there's some quirks that they need to fix. Uh, for instance, when I... Uh, it's a very familiar interface. It will just simply either take a picture or look through gallery. And whenever I have it load up my gallery, it's missing like for, there are a whole bunch of photos that I think are just plain photos. But for some reason, they're just not showing up. They're like empty spots in the grid. And I don't know whether it's rejecting some because we can tell already that this is not going to work out happily for you right. if you try to use this one or if it's just a, a bug. Yeah. And it has this activated promo code. And I'm not sure why. Maybe there's some additional... Feature. Maybe in the future there's going to be like, yeah. uh, they're, they're going to release new filters or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I know. This was the button. Click save works, auto works automatically. And you will suddenly get every possible one of these saved. So I'm going to use this. And uh, I'm going to say next. And Where's then, my Leo? And then, it, so it's doing the server side. That's real. No wonder. I mean, that's really interesting. I, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and there's I'll, also... I'll I tried it on a couple of different devices, and they seem to work as quickly on each each one of those. And there's also, you can slide the effect in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Don't go for it. 100%. 100% all the time. I always do, yeah. Who version of Leo. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a little... It's just, <laughs> it doesn't work. You know, it does seem like... And you, you did the perfect pictures. Uh, it does seem like some pictures work better uh, than others. The other thing they do that I love is they randomize the filters, so you don't always use the same... Filter, right. right? You get a different one every time. Oh, that's very it helps rather, discovery because yeah, it's, right. it's it's all there. It's just a, it's not that the the same filter will be in the same place, right? So it it really does encourage you to at some point you will have seen the effects of every filter that's uh, that's there. And this is the one you said it was uh, sponsored by Palm Olive. I don't know why. It doesn't... I don't know. Well, I think that there's just like a banner ad up there. I thought that is is it going to put like Palm Olive logos? In no, there? it doesn't do anything. It's just in the but filter for some reason. That's I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, go ahead, do anything you want. Palm Olive Naturals. It's a nice filter. You can have money to keep the app going. Yeah, Prisma Labs. <laughs> Again, <laughs> some images <laughs> do not lend themselves well. Yeah. It looks like I have some sort of fire this, damage. Like this could, I don't know if this would ever work, but if you could just tap a button and make your favorite comic book artist draw you. I would just right. Be, here's the Jim Lee version of Andy. Right. Here's the, well, they do have there's, some there's comic book-y. There's, uh, there's a lake lake problem lake four to seven lake weeks, but... Lake lake yeah. yeah, that's cool. Here's the Art Adams version of Andy. Prisma. Prisma. You know, I, better on Paul not Simonson. on faces. <laughs> let's, just, let's just leave it's it. It's not bad unless it's you, Leo. If it's, if it's, it's anybody else, it looks fine. Yeah. No, I just mean like when you see yourself, you're always very critical of it. 
But when you see other try people, to, it just try to try, try to take a picture of yourself with like the lights like directly in your face, as opposed to from the top down, creating all those all those shadows. Oh, that okay. might be that might okay. make something better. Okay. Uh, no shadows, in other words. Okay, that's much better. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Much better in some ways. The crazy, crazy Guggenheim filter. <laughs> uh. There you go. So much better. New avatar. Right there. <laughs>